What's on my mind today? Involution. Not evolution, but involution. Have you ever heard of it? Good morning. Here at East Lake in Wuhan, out for a morning walk. It's about uh, 7.35, cloudy day as you can see. What's on my mind today? Involution. Not evolution, but involution. Have you ever heard of it? If you're, um, you know, if you're not Chinese and if you're not uh, up with Chinese culture, perhaps you have never heard of it. I never did until uh, just about six months ago. But it's it's kind of a buzzword that is taking uh, China by storm and especially my students. In Chinese, involution is neijuan, inner and rolling. And it's, um, you can visualize it as this idea of a um, spiraling conch shell, getting smaller and smaller, trapping the people inside. And more importantly, uh, you know, if you, well, to mix metaphors, if you talk about a rat race uh, and uh, people get in it, they can't get out of it and uh, the most important part is that they have this feeling that it's really not doing them any good i may not be grasping the full extent of the meaning but that is i think that's pretty close as a uh, beginning anyway i'm thinking about it this week because we're doing persuasive speeches in my classes and uh Three of my students in different classes have picked involution as their topic. It's clearly something on their mind. Let's watch the exercise. Involution was originally coined uh, in the context of agricultural societies. A professor was studying a uh, community in the island of Java in Indonesia and um, was observing something like an agricultural society uh, that never progresses. It's I'm not going to get into the weeds on that, but, you know, basically they're on the treadmill. They uh, are self-sufficient no matter what they do, and they never progress, and they never have a better life, and that's about it. The original formulation of that word involved an agricultural society that didn't have competition and therefore became unable to evolve. Which makes uh, this new formulation of the word in China, uh, Neijuan, really interesting because it describes not a, a non-competitive society, but of course an ultra competitive society that's driving people crazy. In some ways this sounds very familiar in China where they've been wrestling with this ultra competitiveness for years and years and complaining about it too. Buzzwords come and go like last year there was the lie flat Tangping. Uh, the idea that um, well I can't win in this competitive society, so I'm just not even gonna 
participate in it. And of course, before that, there was um, kind of the opposite, 996, which was the um, exhortation by many um, company presidents and managers who want their workers to work from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., six days a week. And if you don't do that, you are not a team player, you are not a patriot. And so it sounds similar to that, but I guess it has its differences. I asked Summer about it, and um, I said, so involution is a little like 996. And she said, mm, not exactly. In 996, your boss, if it's a well-managed company, is getting something for your labor. They're uh, getting more productivity out of you with those extra hours. And that's not like involution, which some are described as when um, there's one guy at the office that uh, always stays later than others. And so everybody feels obligated to stay later. And I said, isn't that the same thing? And she said, no, I'm talking about some guy who's just staying later, but he's not really doing anything. He's just showing off. He's just brown nosing. And then the rest of us have to do it but we're not really getting anything done. And she said, that is involution. And now I'm uh, really looking forward to uh, getting the perspective of my students as they, um, well, if they don't explain it well, I'm definitely going to ask them some questions. Talk about involution, talk about 996, lie flat, just uh, their feelings about pressure in, Ch in Chinese society, uh, as young people in general. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. The thing is, if this uh, theory, this involution idea is correct, um, there's no way out. So I am hopeful that uh, people have solutions. <laughs> yeah, right. I wonder how much different this really is than life in America, life in other developed countries, or if it's just I don't know, a China version that has its own culture attached to it. Really not up enough, really not smart enough to have figured that out, but I'm gonna try. And with that, I'm going to end this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you found it interesting, please press the like button and share it with other people. If you have a comment, drop one below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, well, you know, subscribe. All right, so uh, I'm gonna call it a, a morning, head back to my apartment, finish my walk. I was gonna say in uh, relative serenity, but as soon as I get off this pier, I'm back into the rat race of the cars and the noise and people waking up. One of the problems with it being such beautiful fall weather is that there's more people out. 
And I really, I think there's more cars out on the road at this time in the morning than previous weeks. I can only guess that it has something to do with uh, the temperate weather. Anyway, uh, I'm going to say bye. Take care, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>